Welcome back to Repton in space! Okay, so starting off we've got lots of things which look like they could be um, transporters, but it uh, seems like only one of them is because the robot isn't falling off it. We lure our monster looking alien up here. And then we've got a couple of things which look like they could possibly be transporters. I think one of them might be. I'm not quite sure exactly. Oh, yes, it is. I recorded these a little while ago, so I'm a little confused about what exactly is what. Anyhow, we lead a fuzzy to the little fighter thing. And then, yeah, nasty little setup, really. We um, have to push the egg in to release the fuzzies. But then, of course, we've got a monster to deal with. We can get a fairly good look at him there and uh, then lead him around of course he's doing this hang up on the corner thing and yeah that was a nice little thing keep the robot on your head so that the monster has to come downwards then drop it so that it's right in the way of the monster and you so you can kill him off easily So we're coming back down towards the start area here now. Still haven't collected our ray gun yet. Oh, yep, that was a uh, time capsule. We've got a big stack of robots there. So it doesn't look like we're really going to be getting back through that way. At least not in a straight line. And yes, this is quite a nasty thing to do, is to make one of these rock, diamond and earth puzzles when you can't see the earth. Um, it did take uh, quite a bit of checking out. Now I think that um, bottom corner transporter looking thing is actually a transporter, but it doesn't actually lead us to anywhere good for us. So uh, we're going to leave that as it is. So we don't take the straight route through, we come upwards instead. And then we can pop around. And since we've collected our ray gun now, we don't want to take that transporter. We can uh, get all of those non-Daleks. And we can look at the tra um, <clears throat> telescope that's been tantalizing us locked away in that computer bay there and then straight to the moon right starting off here this is quite a tricky level in fact um, deal with that one monster by rolling the, the robot off the uh, skull there and I went down there to clear some of the dirt out of the way obviously you can't see the dirt but that robot's fallen down into the right place and it wouldn't have done if we hadn't released the dirt. And there is some fungus just where that diamond I collected was. Now, going through the um, transporter there, dropped the egg down. So the robot that I dropped is actually going to help us in uh, dealing with that uh, monster there. Now, we say I blocked off a fighter thing over there because we've got two fuzzies here. And uh, we need one of them to let us out, and then one of them later on. So here we go, letting out, and we can see, oh no, there's that uh, monster there. Um, by dropping the robot down, we've blocked off a couple of other little fighter things, and we get the robot, no, no, the um, alien, trapped in that corner so that um, there's the fungus right next to him and hopefully that'll spread into him and kill him. Now, keeping that uh, robot on top of that fighter thing free for later on and uh, this fuzzy finally finds his destination and I arranged these robots in such a fashion uh, they're got a few more up here which I need to put into place and this is an interesting thing I moved to the side there and one of those robots finds its way on top of the non-Dalek and there's lots of fungus in this area 
and obviously if you don't come in here quick enough then that can block off some of those space crystals. And coming through here we find some more fuzzies. So letting those two robots down we've got a nice little platform there and now I'm making a way through to the other side of these little fighter things which I blocked off earlier on. Now collecting the key drop down this robot and it also dropped down the uh, egg obviously nicely in place so I could deal with it. See the fuzzies were hiding our telescope whatever they uh, need to use that for I don't know maybe they're astronomers so yes I'm kind of waiting for the fuzzies to come back Coming up to check, yes they are coming down here. Now I have to wait for them to come back out again, well one of them at least. Because I need them to open this for us as well. Because you see there's three other fuzzies inside there. And uh, yes I can join that up now because this fuzzy isn't going to go into there before he goes into that other one. And I can check up here and find out that fungus has spread killed the monster and also joined up the to the outside to this middle area so this robot doesn't need to be in place where he is. So now I can come down here and make that little fighter free for the fuzzy to go into as well. And then just kind of wait here for that one to show up to let his brethren out. Or maybe sister and I don't know. How do you check the gender of a fuzzy? Anyway, a little bit of robot shoving. And uh, wow, this is not what I had intended when I started out, but uh, it works. And then I kind of forget what I was going for. Because I really want to go into the bottom area to collect things and it would have wasted less time for me to do so. But not by much, I still have to wait for this other one to come round. Oh yeah, we don't want to collect either of these space crystals here because otherwise it would block off the uh, bottom path there. So here we are, Mr Fuzzy, come round here. Thank you very much. My well deserved space crystals. Well, dropping that robot down wouldn't have prevented too many things right to that moment. But it's always good to be just a little bit careful. And we can see the deep black void of space over there spreading. And up there, too. Oh dear. This place is becoming quickly inhospitable. Better get out of here. See you on the next screens.